Korg DS 10 hours today. What the goal for today would just be to like make some sounds on Korg DS 10 because that's always fun. There's like the whole composition part of it too, but Korg DS 10 is pretty good at making the sounds as well. So I'll be messing around with that. Okay, my face. Bring this down. Yeah, I had to reuse my uh, my bang dream scene so I can still get my hand cam in here. There, this is the whole setup that I'm doing. You can still see where I'm pressing thanks to the little crosshair here like that. And yeah, old DS10, yep, this is classic. I'm pretty sure this game, this program came out in like 2009. Might have been earlier than that, actually. Oh, okay, 2008, initial release date. But yeah, this is the original Korg DS10. Everything that I do in this version still carries over to Korg DS10+, Plus, Korg DSN12, and Korg IDS10. They're all the same. They use the same engine, sound engine here. So if I'm gonna make some sounds, I'll just do like the usual childhood memories for you. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say they're exactly childhood memories, more like these are my teenager years. Uh, <laughs> these are my high school years, Korg DS10. I'll just do a long held note first, like this. Pitch. We can hear pitch in action. Changes the quick or the pitch quickly. Portamento over here determines how long it takes to reach the next part of the note. Right? It takes time to get there, right? This one, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it kind of just changes the pitch. It can be used for a bunch more wacky stuff, too. Over here, you can change the the wave the instrument is. You can turn on the other oscillator like this. Get them both running at the same time. I can isolate the second one here like that. And you can change the pitch for the second oscillator here. Got a good uh, fifth, fifth chord going on here. This is where most of the filter stuff happens over here. So here's where you can really mess around with the sounds. EG is envelope generator, right? You can change the shape of the sound this way. Ah, thank you, Clinton. <laughs> oh yeah, you can change the filter amounts here. Band pass, high pass, and low pass filter. And I'm pretty sure if it changes to gate, it like ignores volume, I think? Yeah, see how it got like quieter like that? The volume is held here. Overdrive, really crazy there. Level is just volume, so it's off. Is music hard to make? Good question. You won't know unless you try it out yourself. Find some music gear and get started. I'm always vouching for the journey. Or I'm always rooting for you if you eventually start to try it out. Little pattern. My DS is broken top screen. Oh, with the Korg DS10, you don't need the top screen. I'm actually working all on the bottom screen right now, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> DS's are becoming... Well, I guess they aren't really rare. They're like super popular, but... Gotta take care of them, right? Yeah, I just turned on some uh, delay effects, right?
I keep showing this little trick off. It's like my favorite trick. VCAN is the volume, and you can change the shape of the volume using this little uh, saw there. Change the BPM to every single beat, every single downbeat. Copy it here too. I'll turn down the kick to a lower pitch. Right, something like that. I can probably give this some stereo effect too. So here. Uh, like that, yeah. <laughs> That's like my usual pattern. Oh, how about... How about I'll try like a high snare for this. to do uh, like percussive instruments with the the snare too something like that something like that right I think I'm gonna open this one up. I'll clear that. And I'll make drum for a bass line. Now to make a bass line. I think I can stick to that saw. Okay, you can hear it there. This is a trick that I, I like to do too, if you want something to be louder. EG is like pretty constant, and when you add a constant to the volume, it just becomes louder in general. Now this one is opened up, and initialize that. Like seeing the process? Sweet. Yeah, I'm happy to share it. Didn't realize you streamed until I saw you on the Tekken final stream. A hey. <laughs> been following you since you did some sets on YouTube on this thing years ago. That's awesome. Happy you found me, even if it was in a Tekken stream. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Genshin Impact, yeah. My usual go-to for streaming stuff is a uh, Bang Dream rhythm game. Oh, <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea.
Yeah, honestly, when I'm making sounds like this, I just <laughs> turn everything. <laughs> I touch every sound and it's like, oh, does that sound cool? Yeah, that's kind of neat. <laughs> <laughs> 